Isabel, it's W. Emma, you forgot again. I know, I'm so forgetful. What are we gonna do? Well, we better go over to World News with me to check out what's going on while we do something to fix this. All right, well, this is great, so let's see. Hey Wildcats, sorry I'm late, I had to host the show, but it's March 10th and it's time for global news. Let's get started. First up Wildcats, both Pfizer and Moderna, the two prominent COVID-19 vaccine companies, are thinking about adding another dose to the do two doses that people get. This is because the main virus mutates into slightly different variants or versions of itself. The third dose would help to protect people from some of those mutations. Next up, today is a national moment. This super jumping legend was first introduced in 1981 in Donkey Kong of all games. The character has grown so popular that he had his own show, has had lots of games, and even has his own national day. Wowzer. No, not, not that. Finally, Wildcats, it's time for your Women's History Month figure. This week is Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She was a lawyer who argued for in six landmark cases in the Supreme Court. She did this before Bill Clinton nominated her for a Supreme Court justice position. RBG was the second woman in the Supreme Court and the first Jewish woman on the Supreme Court. Ruth Bader Ginsburg spent her whole life advancing women's rights and working for a great cause. Well, that's all I've got for you, Wildcats. See you next time on Global News. That was some good world news of grace. And now that we've had our morning news, let's get some food for the day with In the Kitchen with Olivia. Oh shoot, I forgot to cook my breakfast. Gotta go. Hi, I'm Olivia, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a s'mores cone. For this, you're gonna need an ice cream cone, a marshmallow, and a chocolate bar. First, you wanna take the chocolate bar and unwrap it, then break it into however many pieces you want but just make sure that they can fit into the cone. Then you want to take the marshmallow and place it right near the chocolate. Once you're done with that, put a little bit more chocolate over the marshmallow and put it in a cup and, and then put the cup in the microwave for however long it takes to melt the chocolate and the marshmallow. And then you're done. 28, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33. 30. Oh shoot, Grace, Grace, Grace. We were supposed to be in science right now. Oh geez, okay, well we better go over to season packs with Katrina while we get over there. Gotta go. Go. Hello and welcome back to Seasonal Facts. Today I'm gonna to be talking about one of the coldest temperatures ever recorded in winter. So let me talk about the coldest temperature ever recorded during a UK winter. And that temperature was negative 27.2 Celsius. That is freezing. It's been recorded three times. Once on February 11th, 1895, again on January 10th, 1982, and for a third time on December 30th, 1995. It's so cold, I wouldn't leave my house for days. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye! Oh, wow, those are some good hot facts. Did you know that, Sarah? Hmm. Oh, no! <laughs> In a vlog, gotta go to history. Let's go, let's go! Oh, no! Oh, no! Scotty! Okay, while we're cleaning up that explosion mess, let's go over to On This Week in History with Emma. Hello, Walton Wildcats. My name is Emma Black, and I'm here to give you your On This Week in History fact. We all know Martin Luther King Jr., and unfortunately, we also know that he was assassinated. On March 10th, 1969, James Earl Ray pleaded guilty for assassinating the civil rights leader. On March 13th, 2020, we were part of history. Our lives changed forever. Albemarle County Public Schools closed for the COVID-19 pandemic. On March 14th, so many famous people were born. Some of them that stuck out to me were famous basketball player Stephen Curry, 
famous gymnast Simone Biles, late inventor Albert Einstein, and Vampire Diaries star Daniel Giles. Well, Wildcats, that's all I have for you today. I hope to see you back here next week. Bye, everyone. Wow, those honors speaking history facts are great. I didn't know any of them, but it's time for PE. Let's go. Cat, take it away. Yeah. Hello, welcome back to Inner Facts with Cat. Today, I'm going to tell you facts about horses. Let's get into the facts. Those were some good facts. I learned a lot. Emma, what do you think? My personal favorite. Well, I found it online. <laughs> well, this is mine. I think it could use some help. Let's yeah. go over to drawing with you. Today we're going to be doing these Brady Bug crafts and they're my little sisters. So let's get started. So first we are going to be making, first we have to peel these off. So then they're gonna look like this. Oh yeah! Yeah, so today, so now we have to put the stars and the googly eyes on. So right now we're just putting on the stars on their smiles. This is so now they look like this. We put the eyelashes on. Okay, now we put the eyelashes on. So now we're gonna put the little um, the little circles on the ladybug mask for the little dots. Are you excited, Gracie? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Gracie. So we did the eyelashes, the little dots, and it's looking super cute. Now we just have to add the sequins. So we did the sequins and they look really cute. We did our ladybugs and they look so cute. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! Bye! <laughs> Whew, that was just what I needed. Definitely. Well, yep. Let's go over to Mr. Groff and see what he has to say. Hey, howdy, hey, Wildcats! That was a fantastic WLHW. The WHW crew is always impressing me with their skills of using technology as well as just advancing the depth of their segments. Are you interested in joining WLHW? Well, come join our club time every Friday from noon to one in Mr. Groff's Zoom. Help us create segments about fun facts, your skills, hobbies, and interests. And if you wanna be interviewed on our podcast, Locker Talk, shoot me an email at agroff at k12almar.org. I think that's all that we have for you today, my friends. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.